Hello, welcome back. My name is Jack, and today I'm going to review an American who is reviewing Australian food that was created by an American. It's Keith from the Try Guys. I'm going to review him reviewing Aussie Maccas. It's good. It's very good. Way better than the chicken nuggets. If you don't know who Keith is, Keith Habert Nurberger is one of the Try Guys, and the Try Guys did like a little kind of down under experience here in Australia. And I mean, as you can tell, if you don't already know, I am Australian. Also, before I even start this, I can already tell, I know for sure, if, if, as well, if you're an Aussie, you totally know this is gonna be about McCafe, because I don't think that they have McCafe in America. I think McCafe is like a unique thing to Australia. And it, for you Americans watching, McCafe is like a crappy little add-on. McCafe is a crappy little add-on that they did, right? Where it's like an add-on to our like Maccas to make it more like a restaurant. And it, no one, no one likes it. Okay, no one goes there. It's like, it's like for Karens and, um, and old ladies. It's like the Karens and old ladies and stuff who go there in the morning to get their flat whites and their cappuccinos, but that's that's about it, okay? No one actually goes there, and they have all these, like, little windows with little, like, frions and croissants and things in there and cakes and donuts, but no one goes there, okay? No one goes there. You go to Macca's for burgers and fries, not salads and McCafe. Am I wrong, Australia? In the Sydney suburb of Yaguna, the first Australian McDonald's opened its doors. It would commemorate this achievement by Where the hell is Yaguna? Hand out miniature yo-yos to children. Today, I will eat everything at Australian McDonald's, or as the Aussies call it, Maccas. We don't call it Maccas. We call it Maccas. Okay. Correct inflection. Mmm. A good amount of the special sauce. Good pickle presents. The Aussie version might be... A little better. Mm-hmm. Hello? Yes, the quarter pounder? Well, I've got that right here. This is the... I think a lot of people, when they first start out, like, in terms of jobs, when you're young, I know I did when I was, like, 14, everyone starts um, at McDonald's. And you all work at McDonald's. And when I worked there, I had so many quarter pounders. It was nuts. Sandwich I used to eat all the time as a child. This beef patty looks more robust. Doesn't it look a little more robust? Ours is so plasticky. Not that it's I've tried the American one. a tiny bit different. It's just a little bit leaner. Man, my phone is going crazy and my phone is like right under my dick right now, which is a wild. The McChicken, my favorite thing as a 17 year old in Carthage, Tennessee. Really good, with the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I don't skip like on that, the mayo see? here. Mm. <laughs> it's way better. Easily identifiable as a better chicken. They have a burger called the McFeast. I don't know what- We used to have a McFeast. Australia does these weird promotional things where you can like, in specific areas, each McDonald's does this weird promotion thing where they change out the burgers and they swap them around and they're, they're, most of them are for limited time. Feast was so good. So good. It was for a limited time. I think it's just a quarter pounder with tomato, very, very Although that one lettuce. doesn't look like very good. <laughs> look at and that. one pickle slice. Oh God, man. It's not a feast. Spicy Chicken Clubhouse. With these big burgers, again, I don't think many people go there to get them. These things are really good, but the re and the re look, they're really good, but they're really expensive. And I don't think a lot of people get them, okay? Because it's part of the whole, we want to make McDonald's fancy. As well as you have to remember that McDonald's here in Australia is like super monopolized. For you Americans watching, we have like McDonald's, KFC, Hungry Jack's, and I think that's it. You guys have like 50,000 food chains for every individual food. We have Macca's and KFC, and that's like it. See? I'm traveling through dimensions of flavor. Quite spicy, but not like any other spicy chicken and look sandwich. Look at the amount of lettuce I've and stuff had. on it. Sort of an Asian zing. It makes me want to say zing. It's very good. The chicken quality is 
phenomenal. This looks like a McFeast. The classic Angus. <laughs> These are all just fancy burgers. These are all just part of the fancy range. I actually think they even call it something stupid like McFancy. How dare they? Look at this. This is a McFeast. Okay. This is <laughs> not a McFeast. <laughs> this is like a worth it video. <laughs> Look at the difference in these burgers. This is the bacon. Damn. The chicken McBites. Oh, so McBites are so good. McChicken. But McBites are only good if you have like five or ten of them. If you have like 35 of them in one go, they're absolutely awful. They're trash. Don't ask me how I know that. Chicken chicken in tiny little bite form. It has like a real chicken flavor to it, whereas... No, 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 no. It's good, but it's too chickeny. Chicken nuggets will never be beaten, and there's a reason why they're the most expensive thing on the menu. They're like 96 cents a, a nugget. A dollar a nugget. It's six bucks for six nuggets. That's nuts. Because the children want it. It tastes like chicken nuggets. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken nuggets. How exciting. This is it. Yeah. Today we saw penguins. How? We went to like the, the beach. beach. And they were there. There's just penguins at the beach? Yeah, they were wild penguins. They I have never seen a penguin at the beach, ever, okay? And the beach is like literally the only thing that Australia has. Tell me I'm wrong, Australians, right? What are you gonna do? Go see the three sisters in the Blue Mountains? Oh, bloody good one. Or drive out into the desert and see a big rock that you can't even go on anymore because it's too far away and they made it a heritage site? Yeah. Now beaches are like the only thing that we actually have and I have never seen a penguin at the beach. So I don't know what acid trip they were on, but we don't have penguins at our beaches. We just kind of chill there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what okay. is this thing? This looks like a taco. Do you know what this is? Ah. Crispy Chicken Caesar McWrap. No one gets wraps. Don't go to McDonald's to get a wrap. You go there for burgers, not wraps. This is the crispy chicken Caesar McRap. Wait, I'll let you both take the yeah, nine year old so spin bite. Stupid. Thank you. You don't have to eat it at the same time. <laughs> no, that was a big bite. No, that's you should. It should be a big bite. Hello? Mmm. The lettuce really holds on to your mouth, it looks like. Mm-hmm. 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 Our lettuce is like sweaty. It's so gross. This is good. I'm we're, not disappointed. We're also very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> not I did really tell them good. we were going to do this about an hour and a half ago, and I just kept having to push back the whole time. So nobody's eating any food. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> or do we rate this? Are we rating your food? I, there's no rules here. Twins like it. For, we did have a, I don't know if we still have it, because I don't go to Macca's that often, but we do have a snack wrap. Snack wraps were really good like a piece of chicken and lettuce and a wrap and that was that, that that's it whole meal snack wrap whole meal snack wrap <laughs> that is yeah. a gen z compliment right yeah, there yeah right that really is yeah. do you guys not have whole meal in america like the the type of bread it's not a whole meal it's whole meal it's a type of bread do you not know what that is? Whole meal snack. snack. <laughs> but this one looks pretty good. It's got a nice like. It's <laughs> what? It's solid. It's so uh, yeah, solid. Look, and it's, it's got a little thick. bacon sticking out. That's With nice. With two C's. Ooh, can we get oh, like a? No. Normally, <laughs> normally we don't reveal. That the looks secrets. foul. <laughs> it's a hamburger wanting to be a burrito. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is like that? I've never had one of those. Wrapped. But ugh. <laughs> it's just like ah, uh, this is how I am. The classic, classic beef McWrap. Wrap. Oh, why did they start doing beef? beef wraps? No one wants a beef wrap. I would rather yes, have a burger you. wrap than a beef wrap. Uh. It smells like a lot. Here in Australia, at least in Sydney, we also have a lot of wogs, right? And wogs love snack packs. We literally call them HSP, Halal Snack Packs. And they look exactly like that. And they're fucking incredible, right? They're fucking incredible, bruh. If you've never had a snack pack, what the fuck are you doing in your life, man? All right? Time for a little bit of brekkie. It's what the Australians call breakfast. So we got some toast, brekkie, got some toasties. Let's dive in with this one right here. This is the, oh, this sandwich has a knife. This, this is gonna be a long section. 
I can already tell. And it's going to be all breads. Everything's going to be bread, all sandwiches, all those cakes from fecking the cafe. Woo! <laughs> the cheese and tomato toast. They're all going to be fecking It came with sandwiches. butter. Should I butter it? No one gets Put a, a toasty. On this bad you boy. make a toasty at home. Mmm. The sourdough quality is actually pretty good. It's kind of like having grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's good. It is yeah. a little. But you don't, but you don't, in a nice you don't, kind of mate. Everything here is so way. expensive. We'll You're not gonna pay nine fifty or whatever it is for a feckin' cheese toasty. This is the ham and cheese toasty. It also That's comes with butter. I don't bologna. think I need butter to get the flavors. We also don't have bologna. We have ham. Hmm. I've never had deli ham from McDonald's before. I mean, it's no boar's head. See? I wish this was no pressed No one has that in America you know? because we should have had a nice we're trying, sear we're mark. Just, we're trying to be way too fancy. <sighs> My chest is starting to hurt. <laughs> the cheese, tomato, <laughs> yeah, and he's got ham up, toasty. Though. It's not bad, but bland. Why would you pay That's so much toasties. money for Let's just a cheese sandwich? Toast. Just bring your own Apparently bread. McDonald's here Climb the counter and toast it yourself. There's so much bread. It's like a Starbucks. Thank you. Look See, it's Starbucks. Apple and coconut Wait, do I don't even know if we have Starbucks. I think that we do. I don't know. Let me just say, the texture of the coconut is there. Every this two is all, has that, like, uh, weird, so much McCafe shit that no one orders. Coconut. Raisin bread. I love raisin bread. Raisin bread, bread is actually I don't know pretty good. Raisin dope, bread is okay? the right bread, but that in one's Australia, thick. they eat Vegemite. That's oh, here we go. Let's watch them use it wrong. Salty bitter spread. It looks yeah. like it's going to yeah, be delicious. Yeah, you dig the whole mm, thing chocolate. out, mate, and oh, put it all over it. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, it smells like a vet's office. <laughs> so I'm going to try to find a non raisiny side. I just got a really thin layer of this on Also, here. also, okay, no one, and I mean no one, puts Vegemite on raisin toast. What the hell are you doing? Total conflict of flavors. Cinnamon, cinnamon toast. Raisin toast is like a cinnamony sweet kind of thing, and Vegemite is savory, okay? It's a savory snack. You got sweet toast with savory spread. That's why you're going wrong there, mate. You get a thin bit of toast, it's nice and crispy, and then you put a really thin bit of Vegemite on it, and that's it, okay? Like the and it's actually pretty good. Swallowed up dinosaurs whole. <sighs> and right, look, you didn't even it. spread it! <laughs> that's why you don't like it. You're eating it wrong. I can't believe people are like, no, no, you, you just don't understand the tape paper. I'm like, no, it's so bad. That was yes, because really you're eating it wrong. You're eating it wrong, Keith. You're going to eat it right to actually enjoy it. You literally went and then went onto the corner and didn't even spread it at all. It's just in the corner and it's on the wrong bit of toast. Far out. Maybe I should make a video on how to eat Vegemite properly. Enough of that. Let's move on to something else. Look at the amount of bread that's down here. Look at the amount of breadcrumbs. He's got a Vegemite packet and just all bread. Look at all this bread! McDonald's can't possibly do right. Macarons. Macarons. I've never in my life had a macaron from Macca's. And I'm pretty sure that we call them macaroons. They don't call these macaroons? What are they doing? <laughs> Probably a good the idea. The chocolate macaroon. That's what it should be, the macaroon. And you can say, make rune for a McRoon. You know? We like lame jokes too, so. You got a bit on your nose there, mm. mate. It tastes like a, like a cheap chocolate birthday cake, which I'm pretty into. Not bad, but not amazing. I think it would be a good dunk in milk cookie or dunk in coffee cookie. because I don't think that we actually dunk anything like that. I mean, we have tea and we have hard biscuits like ginger nuts. And we dunk them in like tea and stuff, but... It's time for some desserts. I suspect this is going to be great because our desserts are fire. Fire. Or, or banger. They're banger, mate. Very Wait, what is that? 
I don't know. McFlurry? McFlurry. <gasps> McFlurry. And guess the fuck what? It's Monopoly time here in Aussie Land. No, no, no. Which means we might win a million dollars. No, you won't. No okay, you wins. peel that one, I'll peel this one. Okay, like a download the Apple app, bags. scan the code for a one in five chance to win. Oh. I feel like we should be paid for that. We have to, there's no <laughs> this stupid, is... like, foldy thing. Because yeah. it's bullshit. Yeah. It's just a series of numbers. Good. Frozen Coke McSpider. Oh, oh my god, that's do you so not have good. It tastes like a root beer float, but like a Coke float. Yeah, it's kind of like a root beer float, but like with a slushy. Floats, yeah, don't they? Good. I hate the name. Like, that needs to go immediately. No! Spiders are a classic. Spiders is literally soft drink and ice cream, and it's fire. What it's not terrible advertising. Every Australian knows a spider. spider is... I got reprieves. Soft drink and ice cream. There's the spider. We're back in commission. Okay. She tastes a little syrupy. What kind of plastic is this? It's like a, like a little rubber wallet for a fifth grader. <laughs> That's so specific. But you know what I mean, right? Those little change purses that were like this like- Do you not have plastic rubber, like cups? Pink. I don't think we had them Plastic. Hmm, yeah, we have in America. Oh, you have paper cups. <laughs> <laughs> what the this fuck is, the is that? Me too. Holy oh, shit. So cute. That literally is the cutest game I've ever Far seen. Far out. Like, oh, baby, and they're gonna make fun of it too, weird. as well, because America, everything's awful. like 50 really? times the I size. It smells good. You think it smells good? Well, give it a little sip. Sip that little baby. <laughs> yeah, oh, sip the baby. That's terrible. Well, let me try. That was terrible. Give me, give me something to chase with. Give me something to chase with. Give me that. No, not that one. Not that one. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. This kid. Yeah. It's not good. Oh my god. Right, I'm not a coffee person, so I have baby. literally no idea how to white. judge. But here in we have Australia, cappuccino and flat white. I love flat whites. Flat it white. Boom. There it is. It smells oh. like Dunkin' Donuts. I pass this over. It smells like a Dunkin' Donuts uh, coffee, doesn't it? You know how Dunkin' Donuts, like, they, they sweeten and cream their coffees, like... Well, well, Keith, we don't have Dunkin' Donuts. In fact, we have Donut King and Krispy Kreme. And I think that's it. So the coffee place that we go to is McDonald's. You don't even ask them to, and they're like, oh, you wanted this terrible, right? <laughs> oh, this tastes like ass. <laughs> yeah. I find all, like, McDonald's oh. coffees terrible. That tastes like straight ass. Donuts! <laughs> what the fuck is going there on? There we go. Here? Onto the donuts. Look at them, how ridiculous they are. I know I've never seen anyone actually get yeah. a donut. It's so thick. Oh my god. Bread everywhere, oh my yeah. God. Look at it. Why would you go here for this? Thank oh. you! That's what I've been saying the whole time! No one goes to McCafe. It's not a cheesecake. Sadly, I think this is the it best looks like one something of you get from Coles. box cakes. We have the hot, oh, pies. pie. <laughs> what is that? These are that damn thing? good. Hot, it's custard. Sweet pie? Because this one says the hot, hot, crispy, delicious apple pie. What's in this pie? Custard. <laughs> what custard. Mmm, good corn. Mm-hmm, good raspberry. Those, I that love shit the is texture of the shell. fucking good. It's like good. too crunchy. It feels like a fair food. The apple yeah. pie. Yeah. Wow. First of all, the texture of the shell is way better than ours. He is so lucky that he, they walked half an hour down the river in Melbourne before they ate these because I swear to God, if you eat these fresh from the thing, they literally deep fry them in like 3000 degree oil and then they bring them up. And then if you take a bite straight away, you're like, your whole mouth disintegrates. You literally catch fire. You spontaneously combust that they're so hot. You, like, you'll never eat again. I'm apple pie. This is ice cold. It is not a hot Thank apple pie. Thank you. I'm literally big like red. And he, like, I come back it's and he's like, so this is awesome. awesome. I love, love the texture of this shell. Yeah. How do they do this? If you go to Macca's for breakfast, always, always get a McMuffin, your choice, so either sausage and egg or bacon and egg, and get an orange juice or a coffee if you want to get a coffee or whatever, and a hash brown. Literally, the go-to, no matter what you're doing. Low quality meat. We got ham, we got a hash brown, we have egg, we have more Pancakes ham, either, barbecue sauce, not and great. cheese. Smell it. Hmm. It, it smells like everything yeah. you like at McDonald's. This is gonna be incredible. Why is he eating with the bottom up? Mm -hmm. Holy shit! That sausage is better. 
than mm -hmm. our sausage. Mm -hmm. The egg is like perfectly balanced, and that's not ketchup, is it? It's like I can tell you right now, our sausage what? literally comes in a it's flat disc. It looks like that's a hockey good. puck, it and it goes on a platter money, thing, and then they go money, 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 and like <laughs> sizzle it. Say Australia, Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's Australia. I really like that. That was right, phenomenal. We say really Australia. Let's try this last <laughs> this last thing, which I am not. Why is it called Three Chicken McNuggets? What is the this the name fuck of the, is that? Did they just need a wrapper? What is this? We we only have wrappers for like oh, half the product, sad. so we just reuse them. Very sad. Oh no. There you go. Ham and cheese pocket. What the fuck? Why would you order that? Hmm. I never noticed it. I guarantee you, yeah. that's like seven dollars. You know, this would have helped with like egg or something. I know, right? Right? Why wouldn't they put more stuff in there? Why the fuck would you get a wrap for breakfast? Hash Why not all of those? <laughs> and now it is time for the best and the least best. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the least best is Mick Cafe. <laughs> Almost everything. Also, can you please stop saying Mick? It's Muck. Muck Cafe. Okay, McCafe. We don't say we don't say Mick Cafe. Mick, old mate, Mick in his cafe. No, we say McCafe. And I From told there, you it'd be trash. I just liked the muffins were dry. The no donuts one were bready. No one gets the desserts them. were like fake and too no one gets sugary. Them. I just didn't like. No it. one Not gets including that. the toasties. The toasties no are one actually gets quite good. But the best. You can make them at I've home. Got three bests because I think it's three things dessert, really shine And the breakfast thing. The first best and that burger, was which is like 10 bucks. chicken sandwich but just the burger. sort of a zingy flavor to it. It was super unique. The chicken quality was awesome. It was big. It was very fun. That's like an hour's worth of work for a 14 year old at McDonald's. That's his whole hour's worth of pay right there. That one burger. Flavorful. The second, <laughs> the little chicken bites. Adorable. Poppable, great Good chicken in quality, small reminiscent of a McChicken flavor while being a little bit higher tier. I could down 30,000 of those. And the no, you could. No way. No one can. Muffin, which I just had. As soon as we're done with this video, I'm going to eat the rest of that. <laughs> wow, what a time. Australian McDonald's. Who would have thought that all of it would be pastries? Not me. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it, but I liked a lot of the. Well, I mean, yeah, pretty much as expected. Fucking no one goes to Muck Cat. Cafe, all right? No one goes there. If you like this video, then let me know what you want to see me review next. What other Australian things that Americans review. I think there's probably some stuff from like Rhett and Link that I could review because my god, their accents are pretty atrocious. Otherwise, this has been Jack and I will see you in the next one. Peace.